Put that cookie down now! Christmas, Christmas time is near. Time for toys and time for cheer. We've been good, but we can't last. Hurry, Christmas, hurry fast. Wonder plane that loops the loop. Me, I want a hula hoop. We can hardly stand the wait. Please, Christmas, don't be late. Ow! Son of a nutcracker! What's going on on my YouTube? It is, I'm Jacob, and welcome to another installment of 31 Days of Christmas. We're at day three of 31 in today's video, and I'll be taking a look at the 2009 TV special, Prepping Landing. Wayne the Elf gets a new rookie partner, Lanny, after his previous partner got the promotion he wanted. Lanny has to remind Wayne of the spirit of Christmas and the importance of being an elf in Santa's Prep and Landing Elite Unit. So Prep and Landing aired on ABC in December of 2009. This was actually made by Disney, and this came out just when Disney Animation was about to kick into their revival era. Uh, as far as movies go, I think Princess and the Frog was coming out around that time, and that was when Disney was starting to kick into high gear once again with their quality of animation after a rough patch during the 2000s era. So, when this aired on ABC, I was intrigued to check it out. I'm like, oh, Disney's doing a Christmas special? Alright, sign me up. And even though, as a kid, I thought this was alright at best, the more I've come to watch this over the years, the more I've come to appreciate it for how clever and fun it actually is. Prep and Landing tells a very simple story at heart, but it does have a very creative premise. I love the idea of like this special secret agent elite force of elves that are the ones who go in and prep the houses and to make sure everything's alright before Santa comes down to deliver the presents to all the kids. I like they have to check if the stockings are hung and that the children are asleep and the cookies are prepared and stuff like that. It's done cleverly well and I do enjoy the premise of that alone. I think the two main characters, Lanny and Wayne, are both a lot of fun. Wayne is voiced by Dave Foley. Some of you Disney nerds might recognize him as Flick in A Bug's Life. He also played all-American boy in Sky High. Those are some fun times. Wayne is an interesting character as he's the veteran elf in the unit who's done the job for many, many years but has gotten tired of the job to where he just doesn't care anymore. And Lanny is the rookie elf who is passionate about the job and wants to work with a veteran. And so he's the one that has to remind him about the importance of Christmas and why they have a very important job because it the, the, because their preparation and them being successful in the job and making the children happy uh, is the important thing to consider and that's a, that's a message Wayne has to learn during the course of this special. It's only 30 minutes long. I guess there's certain aspects where I kind of wish they had fleshed some characters out a little bit more but the 30 minute runtime is still pretty effective. It breezes by pretty good. It's paced very well. There's no filler at all in Prep and Landing. It does its job. It sets up its premise, introduces our characters, gets right into the action, and it's just a fun, entertaining Christmas special from beginning to end. And sometimes that's all you need to create an effective Christmas special. Now, it doesn't stick the landing compared to some of my absolute favorite Christmas specials or anything, but Prep and Landing is still a fun, enjoyable time, and I think what helps it out is the premise. It's very well animated. Disney definitely invested a lot in the quality of animation, even for a made-for-TV special, which is really nice. The CG animation is still really good. I think the main characters are a lot of fun. 
It's well scored, maybe better scored than it has any right to be because you got Michael Giacchino involved in the score, but the score is actually really fun throughout. All around, this is an enjoyable Christmas special. I don't want to say too much about it because I think it's one that's kind of flown under the radar in more recent years. I remember it came out in 2009 and people were obsessed with it so much to the fact that a couple of years later it got a sequel special. Naughty vs. Nice, which is a good sequel to Prep and Landing. Although I think I like the first one just a little bit more. However, I think it's kind of been forgotten about in more recent years. And that's pretty unfortunate because Prep and Landing, I think, alongside some of the animated movies, helped usher in the revival era of Disney animation. Ensuring the quality brand in Disney's animation again. Mixing with quality storytelling. Mixed with stellar animation. And on the TV side, Prep and Landing definitely helped succeed with that as well. And it's a shame it's been forgotten about. So definitely check this out on Disney Plus this holiday season. I think it's an absolute blast. Although I do feel like Ardman took influence in Prep and Landing, especially with the covert elves, and used that and expanded on it a little bit in their Christmas film, R for Christmas, a movie which I personally think is a funnier and more entertaining movie than the Prep and Landing special. Obviously, R for Christmas did more with the North Pole stuff and the expansion of Santa Claus and that, but I can definitely see the similarities between both. But Prep and Landing is still enjoyable in its own right. I do have a lot of fun with this Christmas special. It is definitely worth checking out. It's definitely one of the more hidden gem Christmas specials, especially in Disney's lineup. And it's definitely worth checking out on Disney Plus, along with the 2011 sequel. At the end of the day, I'll be giving Prep and Landing a 4 out of 5 stars. So I hope you enjoyed my review of Prep and Landing as part of my 31 Days of Christmas series. I'll leave a link in the description below where you can check out my 31 Days of Christmas playlist. Where you can check out all the reviews that I've done so far. I have a lot more reviews to come in this series. I'll be reviewing Christmas specials, movies. I got a live watch party coming up. There's definitely a lot of exciting content coming all throughout December 25th in the run-up to Christmas, my favorite time of year. So definitely be on the lookout for more Christmas content coming real soon. And if you've seen Prep and Landing, let me know down in the comments below what you thought of the special. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Were you mixed on it? But whatever your thoughts are, please be civil and respectful of others. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button to see more content and the notification bell next to it so you can be notified of future videos. If this is your first video, I usually do movie reviews, TV reviews, ranking videos, and other fun stuff along the way. I have some more videos planned for you soon. Hope you all have an amazing day. God bless, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!